I should try to get a little rest. Mm -hmm. A message from Major General Fubuki? It's Fubuki. I want an update on your situation. Rendezvous where we met previously. I got a message from Major General Fubuki. Did everyone else get it too? I did. I did too. I think he's talking about the safe zone. He said he's under surveillance, so I am sure he just wanted to play it safe. But Major General Fubuki is with Spring Pharmaceuticals, right? Those ampules. Do you think he knows about that factory? It would be strange if he didn't. He might have a purpose for calling a meeting so soon afterwards. The fact that the OSF hospital prescribed the drugs must mean the government's getting products from that factory in some shape or form. Could Major General Fubuki be the go-between? Does that mean he's an enemy too? Even after everything he's done for us? Hmm. It could just be one of the ways he goes about pretending to obey the government. We can sit here and doubt his intentions all day, but we're better off just asking. You have a big heart, Yuito. Your trusting nature is one of your most likable features. I should really follow your example. It's because he's sincere. I think our skepticism might provide him a nice balance. <laughs> that might be true. Sorry to call you out here. While I accepted Luca's generous invitation the last time, I feel it would be dangerous for me to frequent your hideout. There's a good chance the team surveilling me will notice. We appreciate your consideration. Wataru told me what happened in Ceyron. I've also given the government a report that won't affect our activities. What? Is that safe? Your family is spring pharmaceuticals. That's precisely why I did. Reporting my own family's wrongdoings only gets the government to trust me more. Besides, Karin and I were the first ones to propose that research facility. What? I think you already know about Alice. She's still being held in that facility as an other. We enticed Ceyron in order to protect her, knowing full well they would abuse their research. The results of which were the ampules and the uprising. We were fools. What's going on with this country? Ceyron may have incited an uprising, but there's still a new Himuka city just like ours. Suo's conducting human experiments, and Ceyron is basically doing the same thing. All of it being done to develop new weapons to fight the threat of the others. One chose to strengthen powers, and one explored a method to control the others themselves. What are others, anyway? I've heard they suddenly began appearing after the Spring of Extinction, but not much is known about them still. That's true. I guess the only other thing we know is that they're created in the Extinction Belt. Some are saying they're wild animals that experience sudden mutations, but are they really wild? It's very possible that the government is hiding what they actually are. That is the crux of it. Huh? Even the public can sense something different about the others. So, focusing on that point will nullify the government's personality rehabilitation efforts. Like exposing a government secret to every new Himuka citizen? Just like my brother did in the uprising. Exactly. Karan and I once plotted to send a video of a human at the moment of being metamorphosed straight to the minds of every citizen. But we couldn't find any definitive video to serve as our evidence, and I was hampered after they threatened Karin. So that's why you let the government turn you into a spy? Yes, but now they should have Nagi's data from when Naomi was metamorphosed for research purposes. They took his memory when they subjected him to personality rehabilitation. Now that you mention it, Nagi seemed like he had no idea about Naomi's metamorphosis after he was discharged from the hospital. But, but wouldn't that cause brain damage? 
Extracting a specific memory is a dangerous process, but that's hardly even a concern to them. You all have the same memory of her metamorphosis, but attempting to digitize and extract it is too risky. That's why we need Nagi's stored memory data. It's already been extracted. We can send the data via Arahabaki to every citizen as proof of the government's inhumane acts. The people are ready to hear it. Can you access it? Yes. I received permission to enter the secure site while you were heading out to Ceyron on your last assignment. I've been provided with a one-time use pass. Nagi's stolen memory. Where is it stored? I think they're storing it in the old OSF hospital you infiltrated before. I'm sorry for not having more concrete intel, but that facility was used to research powers. It's very likely it's there. Could you infiltrate the old hospital after the platoon has been reorganized? Reorganized? Uh, I forgot about that. I'm... I'm staying in Yuito, platoon. This isn't... This isn't the world I want either. I see. So Hanabi is the only one that needs to be transferred. No, I'll stay too. Are you sure? Staying with us could mean being targeted by the government. Then we'll deal with it if it comes to that. After all the awful things we learned, I can't just sit here and do nothing while my friends are trying to do something about it. You don't care if it brings trouble to your family? No. And I'm actually starting to suspect that it wasn't just my uncle who knew, but my father too. Thank you, Hanabi. Your help means a lot to me. I'll leave you to recover Nagi's memory from Naomi's metamorphosis. I'd like to go myself, but I don't want them revoking my access to Arahabaki, so I have to lay low for now. You've made a lot of waves, Yuito. You need to be careful. This will be your second time infiltrating the hospital. Yes, I will. By the way, I can send you some data to help you bypass the old hospital security system. I may not be as good as my sister, but I can still put together a program or two. Please use this to aid your infiltration. Thank you. Well, good luck. I'm with you, Commander Yuito. I'm really glad the whole platoon was able to work as a team. We're all in this together. Attack now! 
disrupt the security system with Major General Kabuki's program. You can proceed safely. Understood.
Looks like there's a resource nearby. It sprayed something like oil. Don't get it on you. What? <laughs> I was too young. Yeah! <laughs> 
Shigumi? Ah! 
Still do it, hope. I need your help. Teleportation would make this easier. I need your help. Let's go. Let's spray something like oil. Don't get on the Finish this, Yuiko. Yes. That was brilliant. Let me borrow this.
shell is broken. Give us everything you have. I need to support the injured. This attack work. There must be a weak spot. Break it down, member. I'm a little stronger now. I'm using this, Sugumi. Yeah, time. Using Luca's teleportation would make this easier. Help, Luca. 
Doesn't look like they're storing data anywhere. I don't even see anything resembling research equipment. I think the facility is underground, but there weren't any stairs leading down from the first floor. We'll just have to comb the area ourselves. If this is where they conducted his personality rehabilitation, Nagi's data should be here. I wonder if Nagi managed to get away. I had all of you there to rescue me, but he was alone. You're still as kind as ever. Nagi! You did come back. Of course you did. I mean, we're best friends, aren't we? Looks like Nagi received even more personality rehabilitation. Because Nagi was regaining his original personality the last time we saw him? Personality rehabilitation? You traitors against glorious new Himuka are the ones who need rehabilitation, not me! There's no need to worry, Yuito. They specifically told me, You need to be alive when I bring you in! Stop it, Nagi! I don't want to fight you! Here we go. Then come with me! We wouldn't have to fight them! Of course, I'll kill anyone else who gets in my way. So what's it gonna be? I didn't know Nagi can fight this well. If we don't use SAS, we don't have a chance. Thanks, Sanabi. Don't let the personality rehabilitation control you, Nagi. You would tell your friend. That's why I'm doing this. I'm steering my friend to the right path. I've seen a lot of people whose personalities suddenly changed like that. I should have started investigating earlier. You would have been personality rehabilitated too. Let's do our best to stop them for now.
Rocky. Yuito, I know that was scary. They're all done with the tests now. Thomas, let me see that brave face. You're okay. It's all over. Mommy! <laughs> A dream? About my mom? Why would I have that now? Oh, right. This ceiling. It looks like the hospital room from when I was a kid. The smell, too. Smell. Where am I? <laughs> huh? I can't use my powers? You can't use your powers here. Those restraints are designed to nullify your abilities. You're such a fool. All you had to do was play the patriotic hero, and you would have had the world on a platter. Who are you? Just a humble staff member of this facility. We've met a number of times when you were a child, but I'm sure you don't remember. We did? Have you forgotten about your time here in the hospital with your mother? Which means, this is still somewhere inside the old OSF hospital. Where are my friends? No idea. Your friends are outside my jurisdiction. I'm in charge of duds. You mean people without powers? That's right. I was in charge of the experiments involving you and the Travers brothers. Unlike Karin and Luca, it seems like your psionic hormone levels are dropping. What? Now that I think about it, your psychokinesis was activated under some unconventional circumstances. Duds have an extremely low chance of manifesting powers in the first place. This could mean there's something special about your cerebrum. I'd like to ask you a few questions. Wait, I'm a dud? Oh, so you're missing your memories from when you were a dud too. This is going to be tricky. It seems your brain is accumulating damage as you use your power. I need to run some tests before I ask you any questions. I'm sure you've experienced episodes of sudden memory loss or having difficulty remembering your childhood. Wait! Please, explain it to me so I can understand. <sighs> it's simple. You were born a dud. Then you were hospitalized here with your mother because this was still the OSF hospital at that time. We know that duds are capable of acquiring potent powers. The country sends all duds to this hospital, where we run medical experiments on them. I'm a dud? I had no powers? In any case, it's time to go back to sleep. <sighs> Damn it! I can't stay awake. Yuito! <sighs> Are you all right? Mm. 
Major General Fubuki? How... The program he gave us was able to tap into the facility's surveillance camera feed. I knew it would be dangerous infiltrating this place. I made sure I would be available if something happened. Thank you very much. I'm glad you guys are all right. I'm sorry, Major General. We couldn't get Nagi's memory data. Uh, right, Nagi. What happened after that? You suddenly collapsed, and Nagi... He took you, and then used you as... as a hostage. We were afraid of hurting you, so we couldn't attack him. We were locked inside a room. There was strange equipment. I think it was for personality rehabilitation. The Major General Fubuki showed up before any of us were rehabilitated, so we're all okay. You don't have to worry about us. Sorry. You're always rescuing me. Thanks, guys. Wait. It looks like... others are gathering. I've disconnected the alarm, but they should already know Yuito's trying to get away. We have to escape the hospital. I've already shared the way out with Wataru. I'll hold them off here. But... Don't forget, I'm a Septentrion. I can handle myself. Take this. Don't lose it. No matter what. What is it? I'll tell you when we get out of here. Now go! You'll only get in my way. Okay. I don't see any safe area near here for teleporting. We have to run. Got it. Please, be careful. I had no power. I was a dud. I'm more confused than shocked. It's too much to take in. Nagi must have attacked Yuito under orders from the new Himuka government. We should consider him as being completely under the government's control. I'm using this, Sugumi! It's down! Give it everything you've got! Major General Karin? Yuito, it looks like you've finally become a traitor too. 
What do you mean? Did the new Himuka government brand Yuito a traitor? Yes. I doubt you'd be allowed inside Suo. <sighs> Come to Seiron. You'll all be accepted as one of them. You're asking us to help Seiron? The same people who are sticking human brains inside others? Meanwhile, New Himuka is conducting experiments to metamorphose humans all in the name of producing a strong power. And at its center is the great city Suo. They're both twisted. They're both crazy. Then what do you want to do? Run to the religious fanatics in Togetsu? They're a religious state. They'd probably be open to taking in criminals such as yourselves. But Togetsu won't necessarily be a safe place this time around. This time? Just a figure of speech. Yeah. New Himuka won't be able to get us in Togetsu. They're an independent city. It is a little shady, though. Is that why you came here, Karin? To tell us this? <laughs> it was just an afterthought. However, take this if you're going to Togetsu. I can't drink this. I won't. Whether it's human blood or brains, you need to drink it if you want to live. Either way, you'll lose all your memories and powers if you choose to do nothing. The drugs are simply giving you time, so you have to drink it whether you like it or not. He's up to something. But what is it? Most likely saving Pabuki. Should we be helping him? No. Come back to the hideout. Major General Fabuki wanted me to tell you not to worry about him. Besides, I can at least monitor his status from here. Come back so we can make a plan on whether we're helping him or running to Togetsu. All right. Hey, good job, everyone. Man, this unit's so cozy. Wataru, what are you doing here? I had a meeting with Major General Fubuki. I was supposed to escape to the hideout if they found out you guys snuck into the old hospital in Lokusho. I mean, I can navigate you anywhere as long as I have a PC and sign at. Which means that Fubuki predicted Yuito would be branded a traitor. So... He told Wataru to come here, since he is Yuito Platoon's operator. If they're going to make Yuito the bad guy, it makes sense to take out the person who knows what Yuito Platoon is up to. Good thing Wataru got here when he did. Otherwise, they may have subjected him to personality rehabilitation. Yep, that's basically it. I made sure they didn't know where this hideout was before I left. This was originally a unit for the Sumeragi family. It'd be bad if Chief Kaito found out we're here. But it seems like we're fine for now. I haven't told my brother that we're using this unit, but we should be careful. We own many others, so I don't think they'd find this place right away. In any case, I can't believe my brother made me into a traitor. Yuito. It's really made it clear to me that he sided with the government. Not that I didn't already know that. Anyway, since I'll be staying here from now on, rest assured that nobody will find this hideout. More importantly, do you still have the thing Major General Fubuki gave you? I have it, right here. What is it? It's for our Habaki, a one-time-use key code generator. Why would he give something that important to... Major General Fubuki entrusted the key code generator to you because he thought he might not come back alive. Have you heard anything from him? I've tracked him leaving the old OSF hospital. He completely disappeared from all systems after that. I hope he hasn't been captured by the government. My brother saved Fubuki. I'm sure of it. We have nothing to worry about. That reminds me. I wonder if it's true that former Major General Karin and Luca were both duds. I'll look for him on my end, too. Besides, you guys don't have the luxury of worrying about anyone. 
They're calling you demons and hypocrites in Suo. Our stocks are limited. If you don't make contact with Togetsu or Seiron soon, we're gonna run out of supplies. How could they do this? They were just hailing him as a hero. It's fine. They shouldn't have been calling me a hero in the first place. There's actually something I wanted to tell all of you. It seems that I was born without powers. <laughs> but you have powers. What are you saying? You know how I was being treated at the old OSF hospital as a kid? Seems like I was subjected to an experiment that caused me to acquire my power. I think the reason why my powers have been on the fritz lately is because they were artificially engineered. It probably puts a huge strain on my mind. Are you sure you're okay with telling us this? That you used to be a dud? Oh, is he sensitive about having been a dud? I mean, hiding it doesn't change the truth. And I figured you all deserve to know, considering all the trouble my unstable power caused you. It's no trouble. Really. Yeah, we're just worried about you. It's only natural for us to worry. But thank you for telling us. I've heard there are many people without powers who live their life suffering in secret. It's sad, but I do believe that is the case. And if something ever happens, you know we have your back. Thanks. All right. We should rest here a little bit and figure out what to do next. It will probably be impossible to recover Nagi's memory data now. I guess this means Major General Fubuki's plan will have to be put on hold. So you were admitted to this hospital when you were little as part of an experiment on Dud? Luca, can I ask you something? Yes, I will answer if I can. Oh, is it about my brother? Uh... You mean former Major General Karin? No, not that. I wanted to ask you about yourself. We're fighting together now, so I wanted to know more about you. Ah, uh, about me? Did I say something wrong? No, I was merely surprised. People mostly ask about my brother, so I don't usually talk about myself. Your brother is Karin, after all. Yes, for better or worse, most people notice him. I am frequently in his shadow. So I tend to assume people want to talk about him. I apologize. Don't worry about it. I kind of understand how you feel. My older brother isn't like former Major General Karin, but he's known for always being an elite. And I'm me, so people are always comparing us. Chief Kaito. True. He must be very capable to become chief of the OSF at such a young age. It's hard having a brother that's good at everything. It makes it seem like you're bad at everything. I guess it's not like that for you. I mean, you're a Septentrion. The fact that you're just as good, if not better than your brother, is known among both the military and civilians. Regardless of what the military or civilians think of me, I'm no match for my brother, in a lot of ways. Huh? So, you wanted to know about me. What exactly did you have in mind? Yeah, right. Uh, what are your hobbies? <laughs> this is like an old-fashioned arranged marriage. Well, my hobby is exercising. Despite my looks, I enjoy honing my body. I created my own program a long time ago, and I exercise every day. Wow, exercise. He doesn't look like he works out. He's skinny and small. Did you just think he doesn't look like he works out? What? No, I didn't. Please be honest. I won't be angry. Uh, 
Yeah, I did think that. I didn't know you could read minds as well as teleport. It was written all over your face. You're not very good at lying. Good to know. Well, I understand why you would think that. It is very difficult for me to build muscle. However, by continuing, I am seeing gradual results. It is true that persistence pays off. You're a hard worker. Yes, but I enjoy exercising too. The more work you put into your muscles, the more results you will see. You should try working out. From the looks of you, I think you'd see good results. If you follow the training program I created, you'll be ripped in six months. Huh? Ripped? Tell me if there's an area you would like to train. If you want washboard abs or shoulders like melons. Melons? I don't want to get that big. Uh, I'll let you know later. Come to me anytime. So I'm a rebel. I can't believe Suo was after me. How have you been feeling lately, Yuito? I'm feeling great. Thanks for asking. Of course. Make sure to rest when you need it. Part of being OSF is taking care of your body. See you around. Are you going to work out now? Yes, my daily routine. Would you like to join me? Light exercise is good for maintaining your health. You're right. Okay, I'll work out with you. Maybe you can make a training program for me. I never expected you to be so odd, Yuito. Huh? Really? I thought I was pretty normal. What is normal in the OSF is not what most people call normal. It's very intriguing. I think I'm starting to understand you a little better. Really? I'm so happy to hear you say that. What's the matter, Hanabi? Why are you sighing? Did something happen? Oh, Yuito. No, it's nothing. Come on, you can tell me. We've known each other since we were kids. Yeah, you're right. Thanks. So, the other day when I was battling an other, I accidentally burned a building that was nearby, and Gemma scolded me. He said that my control of my powers was rough, and I'd eventually end up hurting those I need to protect. He doesn't mince words. He's right, though. I wasn't paying enough attention. Gemma asked me what I wanted to be as a member of the OSF, and to think hard about what I'm fighting for. The thing is, I still can't picture what I want to strive for. Right. You did mention that you never thought about what you wanted to do in the OSF. Yeah. And the things we've seen since joining... You know, the suspicious secrets and inhumane experiments? Just awful things that ruined that image I had of the OSF as a kid. That's true. After finding out that the organization we're in caused a lot of suffering to so many people, I can't picture anything positive when someone asks me what I want to fight for as a member of the OSF. I understand that feeling of disappointment. Finding out this isn't the organization you thought it was. But you're the one who's out there fighting. You just need to figure out what you're fighting for as an individual, not as part of the OSF. My reason for fighting... 
I'm not sure if I have one. I bet you'll come up with something if you think about it. I mean, if there's no reason, then why have you been fighting by my side all this time? It's because you... I what? N nothing I'll try thinking about it some more. Okay, but there's no rush. I'm always here if you want to talk. Thanks. It's not like me to doubt myself like this. Feeling sad won't change anything. All right. I'm going to find a reason to fight. Yeah, that's the spirit. Thanks for cheering me up. You were always cheering me up when we were kids. So it's my turn now. You don't owe me anything. But I'm happy to hear you say that. Thanks for listening. Sure. Just let me know if there's anything I can do for you. Don't worry. I will.